I got a great answer to this. Okay, this is a very common problem. You you know all your positions, but when you go on the mat or you go on to compete, you don't hit those positions. Now, here's a little secret that I don't I don't really people I don't when I tell people I don't think they really believe me. Roll with beginners. Roll with beginners. That's the best way to get good at firing away. The, the truth of the matter is the reason why you're not hitting those moves, the way the reason why you're not jumping on that armbar, the reason why you're not you know, it's just because you're still processing so much information that you're just not. It's too. It's happening too fast for you. If I were slow, if I slowed down your opponent, you'd catch him in an armbar. The process, the processing speed is everything. So when I roll with a blue belt, I'm like in the matrix. You know, he's too slow. Whatever you tell him to do, I don't care if there's a Rafa Mendez and Marcelo Garcia there to coach him and tell him every which way he. If they if they're coaching a blue belt how to counter me and how. I'm still going to crush him. I don't care if he gets the world's best technical advice. He's still just a blue belt. He can think at a certain speed. So, well, excuse me. When I roll with blue belts, what I do is I don't I don't just use all my arsenal. I try to use, I try to practice stuff. I try to sharpen certain tools. So, for instance, if I'm if I'm rolling with a with a blue belt, I'll pass his guard, I'll mount him, and then I'll let him out. And then I'll mount him, pass his guard, mount him. I'll toy with him. I'll practice something. Maybe I'm practicing my kimuras. Maybe I'm practicing a certain guillotine. Maybe I'm practicing just passing his guard over and over again. I will toy with him. Why? Because he's in my world. He's in the matrix with me. Now, this is like, you got to think about it like target practice. You're, you're practicing on combining your moves. You're, think about this, okay? If, if you roll with blue belts all week long, how many submissions are you going to score? Well, you're going to score probably a lot more than if you roll with black belts all week long. So let's say you do a week of, of rolling with blue belts, you're going to score 150 submissions. You roll a week with black belts, you're going to score five submissions. Who's getting more practice at submissions? Well, the guy rolling with blue belts. Now, you're working your offense more. Now, when I roll with black belts, sometimes I let them mount me and I practice my escape. When you go to practice, it's time to practice. Don't go to practice to try to win. Some people go to practice and be like, okay, if I don't beat this guy today, if I don't appoint him, if I don't sub him, I'm not going to feel good. And then you're, you're just your ego. You're, you're, just, you're, just in the, in a, you're not practicing anymore. You're fighting. You're going to the gym to fight. I go to the practice to grow, to learn. Sometimes I go into fight just because I want to test my entire game. There is a time to fight and there's a time to practice. So when I roll with black belt, something, I often, very often when I roll, people don't know this when I roll, I let the guy go side control immediately. I start in guard, let the guy go in side control. Why? Because if I escape side control, I think this guy has no chance of beating me. So what I do is I, I, I go to side control, I let them on, excuse me, I let them on top of me in side control if they're black belts sometimes. If I escape side control, in my mind, you're done. Like, there's just no way you could beat me. You know, there's just no way. If you weren't able to mount me and take my back from side control, you'll, it's, very, it's very unlikely you'll be able to do so when I'm playing guard. So when you go to practice, practice. Don't try to fight. Okay, so... Roll with the blue belts to sharpen your your offense. Roll with the higher belts. I don't know what belt you are to sharpen your defense. You know, and sometimes I let the black the blue belts take my back and work my defense. What I'm telling you is, don't underestimate the value of working with lower belts. So if you're a blue belt, work a lot with the white belts. Tap them out. It's important that you know, not not, not in the rough way, not in a mean aggressive way. It's it's important that you get a lot of submissions in the week. There you go. How many subs did I get this week? Well, I got five. Why? Well, I roll with a lot of brown belts and black belts today. Well, that's that's just going to teach me how to be defensive. That's just going to teach me how to run for my life. And then I go in a tournament and I'm wondering why I'm running for my life. That's all I practice in the gym. Whatever you practice in the gym is what's going to happen on the mats, okay, and in competition day. So in my opinion, some people, I, I, I freak out. Like I, Sometimes I roll, you know, I train with black belts. I'm like, I don't want to roll with this guy. He's too beginner. Dude, those are the guys you want to roll with. Those are the guys. Why? Because those, it's good for you to practice your offense you can combine your moves as long as you're not doing it in a way that's mindless. You know, if you're going there and you're beating up a, a, a blue belt, you're like, oh, I'm so strong. Dude, that you just wasted your time. When I play with a blue belt, I'm practicing certain key combos. I'm giving up the strength advantage. Like I won't force a blue belt, uh, you know, I won't force him on neon stomach. If I don't get to neon stomach in a, in a very, fin in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way using a lots of finesse, I won't, I won't, I won't go neon stomach on a blue belt. I try to finesse the blue belts. I give them the strength advantage. I try to finesse my way into sweeps. I try to finesse my way into mounts. I usually have a, have a goal in mind. You know, I want to guillotine him. I want to practice a certain sequence. And that's what I think is going to make your offense skyrocket. It's going to make your offense skyrocket. R work with lower belts, tap them, sweep them, get your offense in. When you're working with higher belts, you're probably working more defensively. So that's my advice to you. 
I enjoy rolling with the lower belts just as much as I enjoy rolling with the higher belts. And I think they're super, super important. The first guy actually to talk about this, I remember when uh, uh, Jean-Jacques Machado uh, won the Abu Dhabi and he was talking about how he trains at every belt. So when he was preparing for ADCC, he would roll with white belts to all the way to black belts. Why? Because he says, he was just saying that. That's why I, that's why I learned it. He was saying in the article that in the white, blue, and purple, he's, he's working more his offense. And then when he gets to the higher belts, he's working his offense, but also a lot more his defense. So uh, he, he gets the whole spectrum. You know, so that's my answer to you. I hope that helps. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, thank you very much. Make sure to like, share, and comment. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.